I guess it's no mystery that this segment has generated more than a couple of disapproving emails. And to be fair, most of them have been really polite and have made a few valid points. Not necessarily a high percentage of the overall points they made, but there are a few valid complaints there. If you're fighting to give men a fair shake in child custody hearings, for example, I'm your ally in that, 100%. If you're fighting against a cultural bias that says men have to know how to fix cars and wrestle bowls, I'm your ally in that, 100%. And if you're raising your voice in an effort to help rally the feminist voices to the causes that need them the most, again, I'm your ally in that, 100%. Because believe me, I recognize the difference between the sexism women face in America and the sexism they face in any number of backward-ass countries around the world. And while that's not a valid reason to ignore the problems we face here, it does call for us to step back once in a while and take a global view. Part of that is to see how far we've come, but some of it is also just as a warning of what could happen if we don't stay diligent in defense of the gains that we've made. I have a perfect example for you. The Women's World Cup is going on right now. And if you didn't realize it, it might be because you're paying really close attention to the sporting news. The national media seems almost completely uninterested, despite the fact that women's soccer is basically the only non-basketball international sport we're any good at. And yes, there's definitely a lot of sexism driving that. So that's the type of sexism America's female athletes generally have to contend with. Disinterest, lack of respect, and Stephen A. Smith being an asshole. And that's bad, sure, but it could be a lot worse. And there's few better places to go on the globe for examples of a lot worse than Malaysia. 21-year-old Malaysian gymnast Farah Ann Abdul Hadi came home from the Southeast Asian Games with six medals, two gold medals, a silver, and three bronze. But instead of talking about her athletic prowess, the country's far more interested in her hoo-ha. That's right, the prudish Muslim fucks in Malaysia are taken to social media to decry her blatant immodesty for wearing a leotard. And we can't exactly have women running around all, you know, women shaped, now can we? Senior Islamic cleric Peak Mufti Tan Sri Harasiji Zakahua, whose name length is clearly compensating for something, explained that gymnastics just isn't for Muslim women because the outfits make them look more like human beings than bags of long clippings. Though he does admit that nobody could tell you were doing gymnastics if you were wearing a burqa, so his solution is that a bunch of young Muslim women just give up on their dreams and talents. Because when clerics obsessively stare at Fairy Ann's crotch to see if the outline of her vag is discernible, that makes her a pervert. Now, in a normal week, I'd have a couple more examples of international athletic sexism for you, but you'll have to forgive me for cutting it short. I had a lot of extra stuff to research this week, and believe me, this 30 seconds thing is way harder than Heath makes it look. So, without further ado, I'll hand things back over to Noah and me.